Top 10 Business Opportunities in Africa That Will Made More Millionaires Africa is a fast-developing continent, and many foreign investors understand that there is a lot of money to be made in Africa. There are two exciting new trends that are unraveling before our eyes. The first trend is the growing number of people from the US, Europe, China, India and the Middle East, who are flocking to Africa in search of a precious resource. No, they're not looking for crude oil, mineral resources, or commodities. They're looking for something else that Africa has in abundance. Unique problems. The second trend is the rising number of people on the continent who are creating new and innovative products and services that are starting to catch the world's attention and attracting millions of dollars from both local and international investors. Their secret? They focus on solving Africa's unique problems. Hello viewers, thanks for joining us once again. Our video today tells the exciting side of Africa's story that most of the world doesn't yet know. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of our exciting videos. In today's video, you'll get a glimpse of 10 of the most promising business opportunities in Africa that are creating wealth and jobs on the continent and will very likely make more millionaires in the coming years. You will notice they all have one thing in common. They focus exclusively on solving problems. The New World Wealth reveals there are now just over 160,000 millionaires in Africa. Interestingly, from 2000 to 2013, the number of millionaires on the continent grew by more than 145 percent, compared to the worldwide growth rate of 73 percent. In recent years, most of the new millionaires have been young entrepreneurs and investors who have created promising businesses and invested in lucrative sectors of Africa's fast-growing economies. There are currently many business opportunities in Africa, but our top 10 today are those that really stand out and not in any particular order. These are our top 10 business opportunities in Africa that will make more millionaires in the coming years. Number 1. Crowd Farming Across the world, agriculture is big business and most farmers are financially well-off. But not yet in Africa. According to the United Nations, Africa's agric business industry is expected to be worth $1 trillion by 2030. This makes perfect sense, as the continent has a huge domestic market, owns 60% of the world's unused arable land, and has abundant labor resources and a favorable climate in most parts. Still, Africa spends over $30 billion on food imports annually. A big part of the problem is, most of Africa's food is still produced by smallholder farmers in rural areas. They are largely poor people who use crude farming methods and have very limited access to capital. But what if all of us in the cities pool funds together, invest in these rural farmers, and take a share of the profits at harvest time? Wouldn't that significantly boost food production, cut down the continent's food import bill, and make more money for both the investors and the farmers? This business model is called crowd farming, and it's a trend that could totally transform the face of a Greek business in Africa. In Nigeria, two crowd farming platforms FarmCrowdy and ThriveAgric enable working-class Nigerians to crowd-sponsor farming projects and earn a share in the returns at harvest time. Last year, FarmCrowdy raised $1 million from U.S. investors to expand its operations. In Somalia, Ari Farm is an online marketplace and crowd farming platform that enables investors from across the world to play in the Somali livestock market. In South Africa, Livestock Wealth helps investors to own pregnant cows and track them through a mobile app. Once the calf reaches seven months, it is sold to a feedlot or slaughterhouse, and the return for the beef goes to the investors. As Africa's population doubles over the next 30 years, the business opportunities in Africa's agric business space are very likely to produce a league of millionaires who made their money while pulling thousands of farmers out of poverty. Number 2. Branding local products for export. Africa spends billions of dollars on imports every year. This includes both food and non-food items. But beyond the traditional commodities crude oil, minerals, cocoa, coffee, timber etc. what else of value can Africa actually export? It happens there are a lot of local products on the continent that have the potential to become global brands. The problem is, we often overlook or look down on them. But a few interesting entrepreneurs are now turning local African products into global brands and bestsellers. By focusing on Made in Africa organic chocolate bars made from cocoa beans which are harvested and processed in Ghana, Fair Africa is targeting ethically conscious consumers in Europe with its impressive range of organic chocolate brands. In 2018 alone, the business made and exported over 250,000 chocolate bars and raised about 50,000 euros from investors on Kickstarter. 
the same change is coming to African coffee too. For a continent that produces over 70% of cocoa beans used in chocolate and roughly 11% of coffee beans, Africa has a unique opportunity to create strong product brands that can attract premium prices from foreign consumers. On top of that, thousands of jobs and small businesses will be created and supported by adding value to raw commodities like cocoa and coffee beans. But cocoa and coffee are only the beginning of a much bigger wave of emerging business opportunities in Africa for value-added food exports. Nalotica is another example, a rare type of shea butter that is used in luxury beauty products sold around the world. The trees that produce this butter only grow at the source of the Nile River, in northern Uganda, South Sudan and Ethiopia. By working with local women in the region to process the butter, Leila Jana, an American entrepreneur, has built LXMI, a luxury beauty brand with a range of skincare products that sell in over 300 beauty stores across the world. Fair Africa and Nalotica are only just two examples of several local African products that have global potential. In the coming years, more smart entrepreneurs will carve niches for themselves by exploring these products and transforming them into international brands. Number 3. Affordable Housing. Africa is experiencing the world's highest rate of rural to urban migration. And by 2030, it is projected that up to 50% of the continent's population could be living in towns and cities. Urbanization is great, but where will all these people live? And even if the governments tried, they cannot build homes fast enough to meet the teeming demand for accommodation. In Nigeria, Africa's most populous country, the housing deficit is estimated at 20 million homes. In South Africa, the deficit stands at 2.3 million homes. Africa's housing crisis opens a lot of interesting opportunities for several industries, from cement production and furniture making to building contractors and mortgages. It's no surprise Africa's richest man, Aliko Dangote, has expanded his presence in cement production across several countries on the continent. His interests in cement now make up a significant portion of his net worth. But beyond conventional housing, there is an interesting trend of homes being built from cheap and durable alternatives, like shipping containers. In Kenya, entrepreneurs like Denise Majani are also converting shipping containers into amazingly creative residential and office accommodation, at half the price of contemporary housing. In Cape Town, South Africa, building contractors like Berman Callal are offering sustainable and affordable housing options by converting decommissioned shipping containers into low-cost homes. These alternative options are significantly cutting down the cost of building homes, making them affordable to a larger segment of the population. So far, most of Africa's housing developments have focused on the premium and elite segment of the market. While the large margins from this segment have been very lucrative for investors, the biggest opportunities will emerge from providing housing at scale and at affordable prices. Number 4. Virtual Education. There is a trend of academic inflation currently happening across Africa. To compete for job opportunities, Africans in the labor market are investing in higher or specialized academic degrees, diplomas, and certifications in order to make their CVs more impressive and boost their chances of employment, promotion and career progression. Learning institutions outside Africa are also benefiting from the explosion in demand for higher and specialist education. The top destinations are universities in North America, Europe and Australia. Academic degrees from the US and UK now cost Africans an average of up to $50,000. Worse still, the overwhelming demand for higher education in Africa has now led to a string of fake universities in Europe and America that are involved in an elaborate multi-million dollar scam of offering admission for non-accredited courses, degrees, and programs. While the demand side for quality higher education in Africa has dramatically evolved, the supply side largely remains as it's been for more than 40 years. The truth is the traditional business model of sprawling, location-based, and come to us if you want to learn, university campuses can no longer match the current growth and sophistication of demand for higher education on the continent. People want flexible learning options that allow them work, learn, and earn, all at the same time. Africa's higher education systems are ripe for disruption, and there are already a few interesting entrepreneurs, investors, and players leading the charge. The African Virtual University is a trailblazer disrupting the conventional model of higher education on the continent. In partnership with universities within and outside Africa, the intergovernmental organization has already trained 43,000 students using its virtual online platforms. By the year 2040, PwC estimates that Africa will have the world's largest labor force, ahead of both India and China. 
To address the current and future skills shortages in this market, smart entrepreneurs and investors are cornering a potentially lucrative market by focusing on flexible and scalable business models that are cost-effective, yet profitable. The growth in the virtual education space will be one of the most interesting business opportunities in Africa to watch in the coming years. Number 5. Outsourcing. Business process outsourcing is now a huge multi-billion dollar transnational industry that is expected to reach $52 billion in market size by 2023, growing at an average rate of 11% per year. The rising dominance of e-commerce and the digital economy is leading companies to demand for more data, real-time services, and a presence across multiple platforms. As a result, more companies are outsourcing their accounting, data processing, customer service, human talent, and supply chain needs. While India and the Philippines have benefited from the explosion of it outsourcing demand in the USA and UK, Africa has become the big player in business process outsourcing for the global francophone market. The number of business process outsourcing companies in Morocco, Tunisia, Senegal, Mauritius and Madagascar continues to skyrocket. In Morocco, the business process outsourcing market leader in Africa, the industry employs over 70,000 people. More business process outsourcing are setting up shop on African soil for a variety of reasons. The lower cost advantage of running these centers in Africa means that companies can be more competitive and profitable. Also, internet speeds in places like Madagascar are faster than in several developed countries, thereby significantly improving the quality of service. In Kenya, business process outsourcing firms like Samasers use local tech-savvy Africans to support some of the big names in Silicon Valley, such as Google, Microsoft and Yahoo, in their artificial intelligence efforts. As the global digital economy expands, Africa's large pool of young tech-savvy English and French speakers offers a major attraction and promising opportunity for global business process outsourcing firms looking to serve the growing outsourcing demand from clients in North America and Europe. The outsourcing space will surely be one of the top business opportunities in Africa to watch in the coming years. Number 6. Fashion and Apparel. Fashion is a $2.4 trillion global industry but Africa currently only owns a very thin slice of it. The global fashion industry has a vast and complex value chain that stretches from the farmers who grow cotton, silk, and other natural fibers, to the massive production factories in Asia that spin the fibers into a wide range of textiles. The chain stretches further to the armies of workers in garment factories scattered across Asia and South America, who convert textiles into a wide range of apparel, stocked by mass merchandise chains around the world, and high street retail stores in New York, London, Paris and Milan. Thankfully, some creative entrepreneurs are starting to squeeze out some space for Africa in this vast and lucrative global chain. In the coming years, two significant opportunities in the global fashion value chain will further open up to entrepreneurs and investors in Africa, who are keen for a bigger share of this massive industry. The first opportunity is in apparel production. With rising labor costs in China and parts of Southeast Asia, forcing more factories to seek alternative locations in Africa where labor is cheaper, several apparel producers are already setting up shop on the continent. Among companies like H&M and Primark that are now sourcing from Africa, Uagian, one of China's largest shoe manufacturers, is expanding in Ethiopia and in East Africa. Also, specialist apparel producers like C&H Garment Factory in Rwanda are producing uniforms, safety vests, and military kits that are exported to Europe and the USA. While the influx of Asian apparel producers to Africa is likely to have an impact on the continent's indigenous textile industry, the potential of these massive factories to create large-scale jobs, earn export income, and encourage the growth of supporting industries will likely create big opportunities for local entrepreneurs. The second opportunity that stares in Africa's face is fashion design and retail. A growing number of brilliant and creative fashion designers is emerging from the continent, and the world is starting to take notice. African fashion labels, like Senegal's Tongoro by Sarah Diouf, are attracting international celebrities and customer bases outside the continent, in places like Europe and North America. And recently, Nike the global sportswear giant collaborated with a local Nigerian designer for a special edition jersey that was inspired by a dyer, a traditional print from Nigeria. The design sold out within 14 hours after it was released on Nike's website. With a growing global curiosity and appetite for exotic and refreshing fashion designs from Africa, 
the continent's fashion designers and entrepreneur have a massive market and untapped global audience to serve. There are vast opportunities in potential partnerships with big and established fashion brands, distribution arrangements, e-commerce possibilities, and artisanal and exotic fashion pieces. On top of these international opportunities, there is a growing domestic market of over 600 million young and fashionable Africans who now take pride in wearing locally inspired fashion. The African Development Bank estimates that Africa's local fashion industry has the potential to be worth $15.5 billion over the next five years. This clearly makes it one of the most promising business opportunities in Africa to watch. Number 7. Urban Logistics. The future of Africa is in the cities. And by 2030, up to half of the continent's 1.4 billion people will be located in the cities. Currently, about 60 African cities have a population of over 1 million people. At the top of the pack are cities like Lagos, 21 million, Kinshasa, 10 million, and Cairo, 9.5 million. And one of the biggest problems that appears to be worsening with the growth of Africa's urban populations is congestion. Most cities on the continent do not yet have well-diversified transport systems, so getting around town can be a very frustrating endeavor. It's a logistical nightmare that worries both consumers and businesses. Thankfully, some African entrepreneurs are already hacking this problem. In Kenya, Twiga Foods uses technology to pool the orders of several urban retailers, saving them a trip to the market by delivering to their doorstep. It is now the largest distributor of a number of basic food staples in Kenya, and the startup raised $10.3 million last year. In Nigeria, Max is a fast-growing startup that provides last-mile delivery services. Last year, it launched an on-demand motorcycle courier service for clients who have critical deliveries that need to beat the notorious congestion on Lagos roads. As we go into the future, more entrepreneurs will figure out ways to outsmart the complex problems and frustrating challenges of logistics in urban areas. In the coming years, urban logistics will likely remain one of the most promising emerging business opportunities in Africa. Number 8. Digital Financial Services. No other emerging industry in Africa is attracting as much international capital and backing like digital financial services, popularly known as fintech. Last year, fintech startups in Africa raised $284.6 million from investors, almost half of all the funding raised by African tech startups in the whole year. It's hardly surprising why there is a gold rush in Africa's fintech industry. Over 60% of Africa's adult population is unbanked. Up to 350 million of them own and use phones, but fewer own a bank account or have access to formal financial services. That's a huge market indeed. By using mobile phones and the internet, fintech entrepreneurs across the continent are deepening financial inclusion and unlocking incredible market opportunities in financial services. And the opportunities range from processing payments and money transfers, to savings, and access to credit. Current estimates project that over the next three years, Africa's fintech industry will grow by at least $40 billion and contribute up to $150 billion to Africa's GDP by 2020. It's this huge market potential that's making investors fall over themselves to invest in African fintech companies. In the last 12 months, two fintech startups from Kenya, Branch and Tala, raised $135 million. In Nigeria, four companies Cellulant, Paga, Paystack and Lydia attracted a total of $72.4 million. And from South Africa, Jumo and Yoko received $68 million. These are only the headliners. Several other fintech startups like Tunisia's Expensia and Nigeria's Piggy Bank, among others, raised lower amounts that were still impressive. While the amount of capital that's flowing into African fintech startups may be impressive, it's who these funds are coming from that's even much more impressive. For example, Stripe and Visa, two global payments giants, were part of the investment deal in Paystack, a promising three-year-old Nigerian digital payments startup. Other interesting investors in this emerging industry include Goldman Sachs, Y Combinator, Partic, Ahmadir Network, and China's Tencent. As the fever for fintech in Africa continues to grip local and international investors, the industry will very likely remain one of the most lucrative business and investment opportunities in Africa to watch in the coming years. Number 9. Low-Cost Private Schools. According to the report titled, the business of education in Africa, it is estimated that one in four African students, a total of 66 million, will be enrolled in private schools by the year 2021. Rapid population growth, poor funding, corruption and neglect 
have caused a serious deterioration in the quality of education in public schools on the continent. As a result, more African parents are looking to private schools to ensure their kids get a good education. And the demand for this alternative is skyrocketing. For example, in Nigeria, the number of low-cost private schools in Lagos, its commercial capital, is estimated to be as high as 18,000. By comparison, in 2010-11 the city had just 1,600 government schools. And this trend of low-cost private education is leading entrepreneurs to come up with several interesting models. In Tanzania, the Silverleaf Academy is a chain of low-cost private primary schools that charge a daily school fee of $1.5. The school uses a technology-based approach and offers a curriculum taught by internally trained teachers. In Nigeria, the Leki Peninsula Affordable Schools is a standalone low-cost school that charges an average annual fee of $125. The school has received up to $75,000 in funding from Village Capital and Pearson Affordable Learning. As more players enter the low-cost private education space on the continent, I suspect the fierce competition will improve the quality of education, drive down school fees, and afford many children the chance of a decent education. Rather than set up exclusive private schools for the elite, who says entrepreneurs can't make good returns and find tons of fulfillment in educating children en masse? Number 10, Off-Grid Solar. While policymakers in Europe and North America debate about the most fitting energy transition strategy for their countries, Africa presents a clean and open slate for renewable energy, especially solar. The race to spread solar power across Africa is now a multi-billion dollar industry that continues to attract entrepreneurs and investors from within and outside the continent. What makes solar one of the most attractive business opportunities in Africa right now is the significant potential for off-grid solar solutions. And the demand is massive. Over 600 million Africans are tired of waiting for energy from centrally managed power grids that are slow to deploy, inefficient, and inflexible to the continent's growing power needs. And on a continent that enjoys over 300 days of sunlight in many parts, it's hard to beat the value proposition of a product that bypasses the central power grid and meets your energy needs by tapping directly from the sun, a free energy source. That's why the solar market in Africa has exploded and the number of players in this space continues to grow. Last year, BBOXX, a solar systems developer, signed a landmark deal with the Government of Democratic Republic of Congo to deploy off-grid solar kits and mini-grids to 2.5 million citizens. In the Democratic Republic of Congo, it is estimated that over 60 million people are still not connected to the grid. In Togo, the company has also entered a $4 million partnership deal with the government to supply 300,000 homes with off-grid solar kits. So far, BBOXX has raised more than $66 million from investors to increase its footprint across Africa. But this is just one company. There are several others. And this is only the beginning of a big party that is far from getting started. As the continent that emits the lowest levels of CO2 but has the most to lose from climate change, Africa's solar entrepreneurs will benefit immensely from funds like the World Bank's $200 billion Climate Action Fund and funds from the private sector like Shell's $1 billion annual budget for clean energy. As more funds and players try to serve Africa's massive demand for off-grid solar solutions, this will surely be an exciting industry to watch. There you have it viewers. Those were our top 10 business opportunities in Africa that will made more millionaires in the coming years. It is now abundantly clear that entrepreneurship holds the keys to Africa's transformation, not global pity, and certainly not foreign aid. Do you know about other hot business opportunities which wasn't mentioned in this video? Share this information in our comments section and let's discuss together. If you found this video useful share it with friend on social media and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos.